let's now look at these two magical properties. So I'm calling them magical properties, but there is nothing magic about it, which means that both of these properties have some proof to follow. It's not like that there is a magic. Okay. So let's start with the first property. So determinant of any matrix is a product of eigenvalues, which means that you take determinant of any matrix. It is just if there are n eigenvalues, then it is just lambda one into lambda two like that. So this will be lambda one into lambda two. Uh, one second into lambda three till lambda n, which means if you want to find the determinant and if you know the eigenvalues, then you can easily find the determinant like this. Similarly, trace trace is called sum of uh, some of the elements of the main diagonal. Main diagonal means like the diagonal where uh, like a i i. I mean, uh, if you say a i j, then i equal to j. Okay, this is called main diagonal. So sum of elements in the main main diagonal. Of a matrix is sum of the eigen uh, eigen values, which means if you want to find the trace of the matrix, trace of a matrix A, then it is a summation of all eigen values lambda one plus lambda two plus lambda three till lambda n. Let me just prove this uh, these two properties for two by two, and I will not go beyond it. Let let me just prove it for two by two. Let's suppose you have a matrix A B C D. Can you find the determinant of this? What is the determinant of this? It is. It is, I think, AD minus BC. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let's just do one thing. Maybe let me find the eigen values of this. Okay. Find eigen values of this. So what you will do? You will just take the determinant of A minus lambda I, which is basically determinant of A minus lambda B C and D minus lambda. Which is basically, if you find it out, then it will be a minus lambda into d minus lambda minus b c equal to zero. ये सही है ना? And then from here you will be finding out the lambda, right? So maybe I I can go to the next page. Okay, so this is a minus lambda into d minus lambda. Okay, so from here you can write it as a d minus a lambda minus lambda d plus lambda square minus b c equal to zero. So just rewriting it, it is lambda square. Let's just calculate the lambda from here. Lambda square, uh, minus lambda or maybe plus lambda does not matter. Plus lambda. Or maybe just minus lambda. Let me say minus lambda a plus d plus a d minus b c equal to zero. Okay, I'm just rewriting it. I hope this is okay to everyone. Now, uh, now in general, let's suppose if there is an quadratic for the quadratic equations, if this that is a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. If let's suppose that has two roots x one and x two, then can you tell me? What is the sum of roots? Sum of roots, which is x one plus x two, it is minus b by a, right? And what is product of roots? Which is x one into x two, it is I think c by a, right? Okay. So uh, from here, can you tell me if this quadratic equation has lambda one, lambda two, two roots, lambda one, lambda two, two roots? Then uh, maybe let me go to the next page. Okay. So suppose that it has two roots lambda one lambda two. Then what could be lambda one plus lambda two minus b by a, which is a plus d. What is lambda one into lambda two c by a, which is a d minus b c. Right. So a plus d, you can clearly see it is just a diagonal. So you can say it is a trace of a, and this is a determinant of a because determinant of a is a d minus b c. Okay. So basically, I proved it for two by two, but in general, it is true for any 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 matrix. Which means that if you have a matrix A, then the determinant. Uh, if you know the eigenvalues, then you can find the determinant like this. If you know the eigenvalues, then you can also find the trace like this. Okay. Okay. Now let's do this question. 
what this question is saying is that if a matrix a is given to be something like that then what is the sum of eigen values of a okay the sum of eigen values of a is m and the product of eigen values of a is n then what is the value of m plus n so sum of the eigen values means the trace right you don't need to find the eigen values you can just find out the trace which is 2 plus 3 5 plus 2 7 so you can easily say that m equal to 7 because that's the trace trace means that uh, sum of the diagonal elements so uh, the sum of the uh, sum of the eigen values is just 7 because the trace is 7 and now they are saying the product of eigen values of a is n product means the determinant here so let's just find out the determinant which is 2 2 1 and 1 3 1 1 2 2 so let's just find out this determinant now if you find out the determinant i think uh, like you can uh, do it this is 6 minus uh, 6 minus 2 which is uh, 4 into 2 8 minus 2 into 2 into 2 minus 1 1 so minus 2 plus 1 into uh, 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 so that's why it will be minus 1 right so it is minus 1 so which means finally 5 is the answer yeah so 5 is the answer for n so the uh, determinant is n which means the product of all eigenvalues is, is 5 then uh, if you sum m plus n then 12 is the answer right so that's very easy question i hope you understood this so how we are calculating m m is the sum of eigenvalues which means trace and n is the determinant and that's how we are calculating the m and n okay now let's just see this question the sum of the eigenvalues of matrix m is this they are asking sum of the eigenvalues right so sum of the eigenvalues means if you sum all of this then you will be getting sum of the eigenvalues so now i think if you sum all of this this is uh, 550 and 150 will be uh, 700 so it will be uh, 9915 right so a is the correct answer here that's this also very easy question so here is the correct answer here as you can see that tall is the correct answer yeah okay now let's just see this question sum of the eigenvalues of this matrix so you can just uh, sum of uh, all the trace elements it will be i think uh, 2 right so that's also very easy question that is uh, 2 is the correct answer i mean uh, they're just saying they choose one of the following options so 1 1 plus iota 1 minus iota 2 3 plus iota something so 2 is the correct option you don't need to find the eigenvalues and then you don't need to sum sum this up that's the beauty about those two uh, magical properties right okay let's do this msq question what they're saying uh, this question I have taken from Duke University. What they are saying is that they have given a characteristic polynomial which is something like this. And then they are saying which of the following can you determine uh, from this information. Okay, can you determine the dimension of the matrix? Yes, if you just sum all of this degree which is 2 plus 1 plus 1 then 4. Yes, you can determine the, uh, the number n which is actually 4. So can you determine the trace? Yes, trace you can determine which will be 0 and then 2 and then uh, like uh, other eigenvalues 3 but since 3 is repeating 2 times that's very important okay 3 is repeating 2 times so you have to add 3 2 times to, to get the trace it doesn't matter whether the eigenvalues are repeating or not you have to you have to add them uh, uh, like all the eigenvalues so if 3 is repeating 2 times you have to add 2, uh, two 3's then finally you will be adding, getting 8 what about the determinant similarly for the determinant you have to multiply all the eigenvalues even if it is repeating okay so anyway like one of the eigenvalue here is zero so that's why determinant is zero you cannot determine whether it is symmetric or not can you determine uh, the eigenvalue of a yes uh, zero two three and three uh, three is repeating that is fine so one two three and five you can determine one two three and five four you cannot determine yeah trace is eight and this is the solution right so four you cannot determine i mean there is no information about whether the matrix is symmetric or not so like for example you can have 0 2 3 3 in the in the symmetric or diagonal matrix and 0 2 3 3 in the non-diagonal matrix also which means there is one which is not symmetric so you don't know whether it is symmetric or not right so these are the two examples one is symmetric one is not symmetric how we constructed the example it is very easy because uh, you put all the eigenvalues on the on the diagonal this this is always one example and for all the matrices which are upper triangle or lower triangle that um, the eigenvalues are uh, are also the diagonal elements so you, you 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 make any change here does not matter the eigenvalues will remain same right okay so now let's just go to the next question which is this one this question i have taken from mit university so let's just see this question that's a nice question they are saying that one of the eigenvalues of this particular matrix is 3 and c is a constant here i like uh, they have used some c so c is a constant here now they are saying find the other two eigenvalues now interestingly they are saying they, they have given you some hint which is which is saying that 
वन आइगन वैल्यू शुड भी ऑब्वियस फ्रॉम द इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ ए ओके सो वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू यू कैन यू शुड भी डिटर्मिनिंग फ्रॉम द ए जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट ए सी द टू रोज आर सेम इट मीन्स वॉट डिटर्मिनेंट इज जीरो इट मीन्स वॉट वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू इज जीरो राइट सो दैट्स वॉट दे आर सेंग दैट फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ ए सिंस ए इज ए इज हैविंग लाइक टू आइडेंटिकल रोज बेसिकली ओके ए इज सिंगुलर यू कैन ऑल्सो से ए इज सिंगुलर सो दैट इज वाई यू कैन से दैट ओके द रैंक इज जीरो विच मीन्स दैट वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू इज जीरो यू शुडेंट नीड टू एक्सप्रेसिटली राइट डाउन एनी क्यूबिक इक्वेशन ऑन ऑल यू शुड गेट द आइगन वैल्यू जस्ट बाई बाई द इंस्पेक्शन दैट्स वर्ड दे आर सेंग सो सी वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू इज गिवन टू वी थ्री अनोदर आइगन वैल्यू बाई लुकिंग एट दिस वी गॉट एट जीरो एंड नाउ द थर्ड आइगन वैल्यू यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड आउट बाई द समीशन ऑफ ऑल दिस एलिमेंट विच इज फाइव प्लस थ्री एट प्लस वन नाइन सो यू कैन से दैट लेमडा थ्री इक्वल टू द ट्रेस इज नाइन माइनस दिस थ्री प्लस जीरो राइट सो सिक्स सो दैट्स हाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट ऑल द आइगन वैल्यूज राइट सो फाइंड द अदर टू आइगन वैल्यूज विच आर जीरो एंड सिक्स सो आई थिंक आंसर इज सिक्स इज वन ऑफ द आंसर जीरो इज वन ऑफ द आंसर राइट दिस वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स जस्ट डू दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर सेंग इफ कॉलम्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स आर लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट देन वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू हैज टू बी जीरो सी इफ कॉलम्स आर लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट देन रैंक मस्ट भी जीरो इफ रैंक इज जीरो देन डिटर्म सॉरी नॉट नॉट रैंक इफ द कॉलम्स आर लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट देन डिटर्मिनेंट मस्ट भी जीरो इफ डिटर्मिनेंट इज जीरो देन वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू हैज टू बी जीरो सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज टू दिस इजी क्वेश्चन वाई बिकॉज लीनियरली डिपेंडेंट मीन्स डिटर्मेंट इज जीरो इज इट इज इट इज नॉट अ फुल रैंक सो डिटर्मेंट ऑफ ए इज जीरो विच मीन्स दैट आइगन वैल्यू वन ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यू राइट इक्वल टू जीरो सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज टू इजी क्वेश्चन now in the next video we will see the relationship between rank and eigen values okay so uh, i mean at whether at all there is a relationship between rank and eigen values let's just see in the next video so we know that uh, there is a relation between eigen values and determinant like what, what determinant and trace but uh, there can there be a relation between eigen values and rank let's just see in the next video